G'day YouTube, 1MJ here and welcome back to my channel. Well, flash crash. <laughs> welcome to cryptocurrencies if you haven't been them, uh, been through them before. That was one of them right there. As I was saying in my uh, videos previously, and I think I said it yesterday on my last video, when things tend to get a little bit sort of too positive or too negative, it can happen either way, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general can tend to do the complete opposite. And that's what happened today. You know, we were getting a really good run sort of over the weekend and then boom, hit with a big flash crash. Now, this article has something interesting uh, in here. So it says, the price of Bitcoin and Ethereum's Ether plunged by 13% and 21% retrospectively within minutes on the 2nd of August. The move liquidated more than $1 billion worth of future contracts. Now, remember, the futures contracts uh, restarted the other day. So this might be some market manipulation is uh, what I think. I think this was orchestrated. Now it dropped from around 12,000, it was uh, a little bit over 12,000, and got down to around about $10,550, which is almost right on the mark that I expected it to go back to, and I showed that in my chart the other day, and we'll go over that again. Now here, there appear to be two main reasons behind the sudden cascade of liquidations. First, the volume in the cryptocurrency market uh, tends to drop during weekends. That's true, we all know it does. Uh, it doesn't do it every weekend, but generally on a Friday, Saturday, you can see a bit of a pullback. And second, the market was heavily swayed to longs or buyers. I think it's more so this. I think there are people in the market, uh, the whales uh, and some of the exchanges, uh, they get together and, and they know that when you know there's too many longs, they're gonna put in a short. At least, you know, uh, the whales will, uh, and the the exchanges they don't they, they don't want uh, massive longs either. So I think there's some coordination going on there, and boom, it happens just like that, and all of a sudden, all the longs are gone, and it'll uh, shake up the uh, the futures market as well. Now people won't be too sure about you know what their price target is, and you know how far they're gonna uh, go with the futures markets and things like that. So my gut feeling is this was 100% orchestrated uh, and by more than one person, one person can't make a, uh, the market crash like this all by themselves. Well, that's not true. I suppose a whale, if they just sold all their Bitcoin could, but they wouldn't do that. They're not gonna sell all of it. So I think uh, there was an orchestrated uh, maneuver here by a couple of players to make that happen. And I think mainly uh, it would be the exchanges because I think pretty much everyone was going long everyone was going long on Bitcoin and as I said one billion dollars worth of longs uh, were all done in one go so I definitely think this was an orchestrated thing uh, and you know some of the whales and that would have made some money by shortening it uh, and the exchanges uh, wouldn't have had to have paid out on those contracts because they uh, shorted everyone and not only that they would know where to short it to exactly for the people that were shorting it that it couldn't go uh, down too far and then it'll spike back up and I'll show you what makes me think this so we go over to my chart and uh, we'll zoom out a little bit so this was my chart now I said I thought it could go up to this green line and if we did it would uh, break through and go to the red and if it was to dump it was to come back down to the yellow I didn't see it going any lower now let's zoom in so we've almost hit that green. We weren't too far off. I think we're only, what were we? Two, three hundred dollars off that. And then look what happens also down here. Look where it wicked down to, that line of support that I said. So it was within this range. Now I'm not trying to claim that, you know, ha ha, I'm right or anything like that. But again, I've been in the market a little while and I have a rough understanding of how things work. This is why I don't leverage trade though. I, I don't like it because even though I said I expected it to go to here, didn't quite go to there. So, you know, to try and, uh, you know, long it and short it and all the rest of it, I, I wouldn't have got it uh, the right mark. But also, if we zoom right in, it didn't quite go down to my uh, short position either, to, to the bottom where I thought it would. So it's just kind of ranged in, in between there. And again, the, the, the exchanges, they know exactly where all the marks are. And there's some exchanges out there that don't uh, bet against their uh, their customers, uh, but a majority of them, uh, they like to bet against their customers uh, is my gut feeling. And so, yeah, that's why I don't leverage trade, ladies and gentlemen, but I am still bullish. 
I don't think this is a bear uh, trend at, at all. We're still well outside of our trend line, so we broke out of that and we're still staying above that. And again, we use that $10,500 mark uh, as a little bit of support on the wick. I mean, it didn't get right down to it. And it currently uh, we're back up to around that $11,200 range. So we've been sitting around here for sort of a few days now. But I'm still bullish and I wouldn't be surprised if we still have a further sell off again and maybe actually get right down to this $10,500 level. I'm not saying we will, but it wouldn't surprise me. And then we're going to start making our way back up here. And there's one reason why I'm still uh, super bullish on the cryptocurrency markets. And it's this, the market cap. It's now $347 billion. So even though we've had this big crash, or you know, flash crash, whatever you want to call it, the market cap is still going up. We're at, again, not that long ago, we're around the 270, 280, you know, pushing 290, 300 billion dollar mark. Uh, then we got over the 300 billion dollar mark just the other day. I was saying we're at around about 320, 330 billion dollar mark. And now with this big crash, flash crash, we're at 347 billion. We're getting close to 350 billion. And this just keeps growing. It's only down 1.2%, but we're still up overall. So that is why I'm still bullish on these markets. And I believe we're just gonna to continue to go up. This is just the start. Uh, expect big things to come. And for those who haven't been in the space a little while uh, and you know got a little bit scared, hopefully it didn't sell. Again, my personal opinion is we're very early in the market. Uh, you know, I haven't sold anything and when I see things like this, even if we were to pull back another 30% in total from here and we drop down to a back around sort of the $9,000 mark, I still wouldn't be uh, overly bearish. It wouldn't be great, but uh, I would still be bullish as long as it was more just shorts and that getting liquidated, but the market cap continues to grow. That's what I'm looking for. As long as that market cap is going up, the price is going to fix itself eventually. It will have no choice. There are more people putting money into the market. If the market cap starts to go down, different story. If the prices are going down and the market cap's going down, it's time to sell. My personal opinion, not financial advice. Anyway, just a quick one from me today. So hopefully didn't uh, nobody got wrecked. Uh, and again, you know, they're sort of slowly starting to recover now, but again, we could still see a bit of a sell-off. We might find Bitcoin back down around that $10,500 mark, and we might range there for a little while before we make a move, or we could out of nowhere suddenly see everything go really long and, you know, jump straight up to that $12,500 mark. I don't think so. I think we're going to hover around this 11 2 mark for a little while would be my sort of uh, guess. We might spend a sort of a week or two jumping between that $11,200 mark and the $12,500 mark. Eventually that $12,500 mark will be broken and then that will probably be support. That's just my gut feeling. Anyway, that's it from me. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you didn't get wrecked today and I'll see you next time.